Okay, so I'm going to show you how to tie the square knot. Alright, i got a line here, and the square knot is used to tie either two ends um, of a rope together or two ropes together. So it doesn't really matter. Here I have two ends of the same rope. Um, and what I'm going to do is make a simple overhand knot. Alright, and I'm going to tie it real quick, and let's check the anatomy of, uh, of the knot. Alright, so this is a square knot. Now, a square knot is just some and knot where two overhand knots, but they're opposite directions, and um, they can they move freely like this, and you see, you see that they kind of loop around each other. Both of them do. All right. So how did that happen? Now you can see that this one on the bottom, this one on the bottom, is coming out and over this loop right here. It's coming over, and th so is the top one. This one is also coming out and over. So that's the clue right there. Both sides um, have to be doing the same thing. And see on this side, these two ends are both coming down and under this loop. All right. So let's start over from the overhand knot. This is my overhand knot. We. How do I make the next move? Now, I see that this end is over this one. So what that means is this one is going to come around here and go that way. And that means this one is going to also have to be over. So if I put it right here, then it's already over it right here. See it's over? The one on the left is over the one on the right because this one is coming out over this loop. Now it doesn't matter which way you twist it. You could twist it this way and this square knot or if I... Um, if I twist this side in, it doesn't matter. It's one twist and a one three sixty twist right there, and it goes around the other one. We'll make sure it still comes out on top. And this one is still on top right there. Now let me reverse this whole thing real quick. Let's see if I can figure out how to do that. That's not right. Um, okay, so here's an overhand knot in which the one on the right side here it's coming under the loop right here you see it's under this loop this is under this loop so what that means is this side that's going this way has to also go under the loop so I just put it under it and just give it a twist and there it's already under see you just you look on whatever side you're comfortable with you can look on the left side if you want I usually look at the right but you can look on the left side you see so on the left side right here that um, the one that is going to be going to the other side, this one, and this one's coming to this side, so that means this one will be synonymous with this one, this long one right here. Okay, and this one, the long one is coming over this one, this which will be the loop right there, see? It'll be the loop, so that means this one that is going this way is going to have to follow the, this one. So since this one is over, I'm going to have to make this one that's also going that way over, so I just put it over it right there, I put it over right there and just give it a twist right there square knot right there square knots are good they're cool and they're very easy to take apart you just basically pull these two ends if it gets too tight and that's it anyways that's a square knot